What's up, y'all? We about to do a get ready with me because I love doing those. I don't know why. And I'm high. But I'm about to take some more because I ain't that high. And I want to be higher. So, I'm going to grab my edibles. <laughs> Got these pretty guys from Arizona. Mm. <laughs> Let's get started. So what are we doing today? If you've never been here before, make sure you leave a caterpillar down below so I know that you're new. And if you've been here for a minute, you already know. <laughs> so I'm about to just do a get ready with me. Cause you know, that's like my favorite thing to do on this channel. Honestly, the get ready with me's. <laughs> the get ready with me's <laughs> are my favorite to do. <laughs> the get ready with me's. I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know if I want to flat iron my hair or put this wig on. Let me show y'all my wig. First of all, this is my wig. So, you know, if you was on my live, I was like, should I dye half of it purple? I ended up just doing one little line because I didn't know if it was gonna look right, but it is gonna look right. So I'm gonna do half this purple. I might go get that today, low key, the hair dye for it. But this came from like Sally's and I wanna go to like an actual beauty supply store that has like a door and stuff. Cause this is what I dyed the top with, a door. So, I don't know. I might just say fuck it and put the wig on. But I kinda wanted, I wanted a different look for this wig. So I don't know. Or I could do the braids. I might do the braids, but anywho. You already know what I'm about to do. <laughs> I'm about to take a muck shower. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It is two o'clock. I woke up this morning and I was like, it was either I could get dressed and just go and then come back to shower or shower and then go. And I decided to just go first. My lips are a little crusty. I took myself to breakfast. I what else did I do? What did I do before that? I took myself out to breakfast and then I'm gonna get my feet done. So I'm about to take a shower though. I just ate. It's the munchies for me. Yo, I was just saying earlier, every time I try to record a video high, like I take these edibles every day, a bitch be high. And I don't know why I turned that on right now. I be high, right? I be cool. And then when I want to film and be high, I take the edible and then wait and then film. And I feel like I don't be as high. It don't, I don't know. It's like my brain's like wired to not be that high so I could be aware. I don't fucking know. That was just a theory. But I'm gonna take a shower quick and I'll be back. I'm probably just gonna flat iron my hair. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Listen, I got the door open and I really just hope this shit work. And if it don't, there's no video. <laughs> I'm about to put this body oil on my legs and my feet. I don't put it on any other place of my body. I was just all up in my nose. It itches. I don't put it anywhere else on my body because I don't really like the feeling of oil. Like it makes you look shiny though. Anywhere else? Mm -mm. No thanks, I'd rather not. And I'm so glad I got my feet done because the lady that did my feet last time, she was good, like I liked her. The paint job was horrific. <laughs> I was like, whoa, it was so blotchy and shit. Mm. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is my face. I kinda did my face earlier. And y'all, I have a fucking hunchback, okay? I went to the chiropractor to see what was wrong. I went to the doctor to see what was wrong because everybody in the internet was scaring the shit out of me. And they basically said, you slouch, bitch. So stop slouching and maybe it wouldn't be there no more. So, and I'm gaining weight, y'all. I just told my mom the other day, I said, if I had never looked in the mirror, I'd probably not care how I looked. I'm always in the mirror like, huh, my ass look fat as hell. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm always like in the mirror looking in the side like, Ooh. but it is the beginning of the month and your girl finna start. So I'm just a little bloated maybe. <laughs> I don't even want to get on the scale because if I get on the scale, I'm gonna cry. First thing we're gonna do is my face. I already said that. First step is wash your hands before you touch your face. I have bought these new towels, they're microfiber towels for my face because I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I don't even know if I should tell y'all this. You know, I sometimes I be saying too much info. But the next thing I'm about to do is take one of these. These are so cheap. I need to get better ones. I think I'm gonna go to Ulta. And then put aloe vera on it and rub it all over my precious, delicate, amazing face. <laughs> now why I'm doing this, you must ask. Don't really know. Um, I just know aloe vera is good for you and I've tried it for the last couple days. And I really haven't seen a difference, but I was like, I need to try something. Ah, fuck me. I was like, I need to try something new with my face. We've been plastering my face with aloe vera. And I feel like everybody says that different. We're gonna let this sit for a second. I don't keep it on my face forever. I just don't like the feeling of it. Y'all, there's something in my eye. I have to put some contact solution in this bitch. There's something really in my eye. I just don't wanna put it in my contact and then it gets messed up. All right, boom. Wipe this off. So it's like I'm wiping it off, but everything that was supposed to get in my skin, hopefully got in my skin. This towel is so soft. This is my first time using these towels. Literally. Y'all seen it first. Y'all got to see my first experience. And they're soft as hell. I can rub my face with this all day. <laughs> so next I'm going to take. So I bought this 
um, what's it called? Lip balm. And it came with a natural lip scrub, and I've been using it. People always say my lips are soft, but I don't feel it. Like, does anybody else get told that their lips are soft, but like you personally don't feel it? Or is it just me? My lips are small as fuck, anyways. I bought this lip scrubber, I'm gonna show y'all. Boom! I got these off Amazon. <coughs> I got these off Amazon. It's just like an exfoliator brush. Usually I use like coconut oil or something, but I was like, fuck it. It's a new day. Next. Oh, I went to Arizona, right? Brought my beautiful rose water that I got from Amazon. Um, When I got there, it was cool. When I came back home, I went to go like unpack all my stuff and it was empty. Empty. So there is still some like in the little tube, but I have to buy some more. It's the effort for me. <laughs> I feel something. I love this rose water and I'm so pissed. And then oil free moisturizer by Neutrogena, sensitive skin. Boom. I'm a new mother lady. What's next, y'all? My hair. Y'all, you should see this. Like, my bathroom's never this dirty. I gotta take my vitamins today. So, y'all, let's talk about that too. Unfortunately, in this cold, cold world, I am vitamin D deficient. And I just realized that because I got a blood test. It wasn't that long ago, but I got a blood test. I got a blood test when I first moved back out here. She basically said my vitamin D was low and my testosterone was high or some shit like that. You know, you know, I'd be waxing myself. I'm hairy as hell. So, she put me on like a high dosage for like eight weeks or something i told her because i was like um am i supposed to get like a refill or just like can you tell me how much i should get i have to take 5,000 U. I don't know what ui means um but i have to take 5,000 ui of vitamin d once a week <laughs> for two months and then go down to 3,000. so now i'm a vitamin bitch <laughs> y'all it feels like something's in my eye and i don't like that i don't want to put oh fuck i gotta put my contacts in let me wash my hands and like what am i really getting ready for i couldn't tell you <laughs> I don't know. I think I told y'all. I feel like I say this every fucking video. But my car ain't working right now, okay? Shit. My car ain't fucking working, so I've been having to get rentals and shit because what I have to get done is too motherfucking expensive for free, yeah, girl. My car's just chilling and I'm getting rentals, so I got a rental. So I'm trying to be out. Ain't nobody trying to be in the crib. What's the point of getting a rental if you gonna be in the crib? I got this rental. So I'm just trying to be out. I might go to the park or something. I should have vlogged low key. Oh, and everybody's always asking where Arlo is. She's with my parents, so my parents treat my dog like a fucking child. Like, like it's her, their grandchild so she's over there for the weekend everybody is always asking where she's at like i'll be straight chilling i'm gonna make a tiktok one day of a compilation of her ass just being around the house incognito like i don't be knowing where this girl's at oh shit i grabbed the wrong oil but it's okay i'll just put it on my scalp does anybody else think hair is just way too much work because <laughs> i do it's just too much for me look how long it got y'all from like what like a year ago it's just long as hell and i cut it when i first moved back to arizona back to arizona when i first moved back to indiana I cut my hair like I cut like this much off. It was short as hell. Now look at me, draping. I gotta blow dry it though. Why do I put my blow dryer? I'm not gonna record this, so we'll be back. My contact or there's something in my eye, but bro, my eyeballs are going through it right now with both my contacts, and I just got these. I forgot that I was filming, y'all. <laughs> oh shit! I'm over here just cleaning up, waiting for this shit to <laughs> just waiting for this shit to uh, heat up. And I look up and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, bro. I'm bunny as hell. Man, should I really flat iron my hair? I have to now. I done blew it out. Mm -mm. That's the choice I made and that's the choice I stand. I'm not finna change my mind right now. So listen, listen, y'all, listen. <laughs> Y'all like, I'm listening. My camera only records to 29 minutes. I Well, and then you have to restart it. It doesn't just record to then. I'm gonna show y'all <laughs> how fast I do my fucking hair. I'm only four minutes in. It's gonna take me less than 25 minutes to do all this shit. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk about some TikToks that I've been watching because I love TikTok. <laughs> TikTok is so fun, y'all. It's so much fun. We gonna talk about the TikToks that I've been seeing. I've been seeing some real good motivational TikToks. And I seen this man today, and I wanna I wanna tell y'all about this because I want y'all to start doing it because I'm gonna start doing this shit. I look crazy as fuck. <laughs> he was basically saying, he said, get a piece of paper and write down goals at the top. Write down your top 10 goals that you wanna achieve by the end of the year. And then he said, look at the list. He said, if you had to pick one and do in 24 hours, something in the fuck. <laughs> I forgot now, it was something like, pick one of them that you like to do in 24 hours, like you like to get done in 24 hours circle it and then do it boom and he said and if you do this you're always gonna be rich or you're gonna be rich i don't know damn so clearly i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about and i've been watching this other dude i really don't know his name i wish i did though because he's cold he be just speaking some real shit on there about like all aspects like relationships life all types of shit and you know i had somebody tell me the other day which it's really hard to not care like it is it's really hard to not care he was basically saying like don't care <laughs> not everybody's gonna like you and i've come to that conclusion a long time ago like because i used to be like why don't these 
these people like me? And then I'm like, not everybody's gonna like me. So it is what it is. I just think that everybody should look at like their own little perspective. Like I do, literally. Like I've been trying to just like focus on myself. I've been listening to a lot of, well not a lot, but I've been listening to audiobooks a lot lately because I have a really short attention span. So your girl would be so distracted in the middle of a book. I went and spent like $100 on books maybe a month or two ago. Touched them probably twice, <laughs> literally. Me physically reading is not good. So I suggest if you're not good at shit like that, like if you're like me and you don't pay attention really well, the audiobooks definitely were better. It definitely had me paying attention because I was just listening to it. And I've been trying to listen to some podcasts, but I want to listen to some funny shit. So if you guys know any podcasts that are funny as hell, they can have me dying. Um, please send them my way. And I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now, but we just talking, okay? Just act like we on FaceTime or something. This is one girl I watch. Her name's Savannah Brimer, I think her last name is. I've been watching her for like over a year now for sure. And she does like crime videos, basically is what it is. She's dope. And I love listening to her. Too. She has such a soothing voice. So like it goes with the story. And she also has a podcast, but I just watch the YouTube videos because I like to like visually see stuff <laughs> too. I like her. Now I'm just talking about the YouTubers that I watch. Like what the fuck? There's this other girl I like to watch. Her name's Jessica Kent. It's my bitch. And she was in jail for two years, I think. Somewhere around two years. It was for, she's been recovered for what, like nine years or something? I've been watching this girl forever. Well, not forever, a year. And no, I've been watching Jessica for probably almost two years now. She does stuff that's like prison related and she also has another like family channel and shit. And she's super dope too. I love like, I just like watching people grow from stuff because thank god i was raised correctly growing is a part of life like you can't keep dwelling on shit your whole fucking life like at some point you're gonna have to have some peace in your heart and just i don't, I don't want to say get over it but forgive and like move on and watch people grow and watch people be happy i always get dms of people saying how they watched me grow how happy they are for me and shit and it makes me feel good i like to watch people that talk about stuff like that because it's also motivational because you know we are our hardest critics <laughs> i'm turning to a therapist now we beat ourselves up more than anybody else does literally no one could talk shit about me all day and i'll still talk shit about myself at some point you just gotta say fuck it done before 28 minutes so i did the fuck out of that but i'm gonna like you know touch this bitch up and then we'll be right back and i'm gonna just get dressed because why not i'm all done y'all i ain't put no earrings in no i forgot but i'm gonna put some earrings in right now but i just wanted to show y'all i went from a sad bitch to a bad bitch <laughs> so that's the end of this video i'm gonna take another edible because no sis thank you guys so much for watching this video though because you know you real give this video a thumbs up make sure you follow all my social media it'll be on the screen and i'll see you guys next video Bye.